Doc on the Run. We help injured runners run. Here are the advantages of an MRI. Now, an MRI will give you more detail than a CT scan on soft tissue structures like tendons, ligaments, and joint capsules. An MRI only uses a magnet and does not use x-ray, so there's no radiation exposure with MRI. Here are the advantages of a CT scan. If you have a suspected fracture in the bone, the CT scan will give you more information, more detail, and more accuracy in the anatomic detail of the fracture than you will get on an MRI. Here are the disadvantages of an MRI. Now, MRI is a much longer study. It takes about half an hour or so to actually complete the exam. Now, you will have to lay still during the MRI study or the images will be terrible. It's often hard for athletes to sit still for that long. Now, another disadvantage is that you simply cannot turn on that gigantic magnet and get good images if you have implanted hardware like plates from a previous ankle fracture or screws from a tendon or ligament repair because the metal creates this sort of starburst pattern on the image and it makes it really less valuable. The doctors call that scatter where we see this like bright white starburst thing on your image that just kind of ruins the image and you can't see anything at all with all that scatter. You also cannot have an MRI if you have vascular clips holding blood vessels together from some prior vascular surgery. Obviously, if you have little metal clips holding your blood vessels together, you don't want to turn on a magnet that's going to move those little metal clips and rip those blood vessels apart. You also can't have an MRI if you have a pacemaker because it could move the electrodes or kill the battery. You also cannot have an MRI if you're claustrophobic. You have to lay in a tube during the exam. To combat this, there are other kinds of MRIs called an open MRI or an extremity MRI that do not require you to lay inside the tube, but nothing is free in medicine. You pay for not laying in that tube, and the way you pay for it is by getting much lower resolution images that don't give you anywhere near the same amount of anatomic detail. In short, those pictures from those open MRIs and extremity MRIs, they're much less effective and much less useful for you and your doctor. Here are the advantages of a CT scan. The CT scan provides excellent detail for suspected fractures and cystic lesions in bone. Now, a cystic lesion is basically just a benign bone tumor where you have a little collection of fluid or uh, some other kind of cells within the bone that makes it weaker. Sometimes runners have these cystic lesions, and because it's basically a hollow spot within the bone, the cystic lesion can give you symptoms that seem to be like a stress fracture. A CT scans provide excellent detail for all these kinds of abnormalities in bone. The CT scan is also very fast, and it only takes a few minutes, so it's a lot easier for an athlete to sit still for a CT scan. A CT scan can give you some of the same information about soft tissue that MRI would give you, often at lower cost than MRI. In a sense, CT scans are older technology, and the use of older technology is generally less expensive than new fancy cutting-edge technology. Another advantage of the CT scan is that if you have a particular timeline, because you're trying to stay on track with your training to stay on course for making it to the starting line of a specific race, you probably don't have a lot of time to waste. Because a CT scan doesn't take as long as an MRI, imaging centers that have both a CT scan and an MRI can do a lot more CT scans in one day and a lot fewer MRIs. So it's usually a lot easier to schedule a CT quickly since the study itself takes so much less time to actually perform the study. Here are the disadvantages of a CT scan. The disadvantage most doctors talk about is that a CT scan doesn't show inflammation the way MRI does. Stress fracture, stress response, stress reaction, mild stress fractures, they just don't show up as well on a CT scan as they do on MRI. Now, in terms of your overall health, the bigger disadvantage is probably radiation. The CT scan uses x-rays, and so you do get exposed to radiation when you have a CT scan. Doc on the run. We help injured runners run.